Hey guys, Kyle Soups 808 here. Welcome back. Uh, today we're doing a review of the original old school Punisher Premium Format by Sideshow Collectibles. Stay tuned. So I believe this came out in 2005, um, it's, it's really old, uh, 15 years ago, man. man that flies. But this is one of the best ones for me that they ever did, uh, this was a mixed media statue. Uh, as always we'll start with the box, so nice picture of the, uh, of the guy on the front there. Spin it round, there's a bit of a story about Frank Castle and the history of the Punisher on the back. Um, I'll show you a picture of that and you can pause it if you like and read the story. And then it's got the edition size here, mine is 329 of 1000. As always we'll start with the base, very simple Punisher skull here, uh, done in like a metallic grey, uh, almost silvery paint and black. And then on the uh, bottom it's got the edition size and it tells you uh, that it's sculpted by Andy Bergholtz. And obviously Sideshow Collectibles and Marvel there. Andy Bergholtz, exceptionally talented sculptor, uh, sculpted for Sideshow, uh, McFarlane toys, Diamond Select toys to name but a few. And I believe he's done some like movie work as well, uh, creature design and the, and the like. And then we have the, uh, the statue itself, this is how it comes. Uh, the head is, uh, is just on there, it's, it's not detachable. And it just fits into the base with one uh, rod here. Uh, that fits into this little hole. So we'll do that right now. And then we have the arms with the guns attached. Okay, the guns do not come away from the hands. And then there's these hexagonal uh, pegs here, which fit into the uh, shoulder socket there. And they're a little bit tricky to fit in because you have to kind of peel his t-shirt back over his arm. And there we go. Um, like I said, they just fit in with the two pegs. There's no magnets on this. It kind of makes me a little bit nervous, but and you've got to make sure not to get his t-shirt kind of caught in the crease because if you accidentally pull the t-shirt it can pull the arm away and then he has this uh, rifle on a sling here and you can choose to display that or not but why wouldn't you so i like to have the rifle kind of slung down over his back like this uh, in order to get it around his head and arm though you have to take the arm off uh, which i just did I hate taking the arms off of this thing, it just makes me really nervous because the little, uh, the little peg, the rod, uh, that uh, goes from the arm into the shoulder socket, that seems like it could, it could break very easily, so it makes me really nervous. I wish it had been done with the strong magnets. However, it wasn't. So this is based off the art of Tim Bradstreet. He's a cover artist. Um, he did um, the illustrations and the covers uh, for the, uh, the Max Comics Punisher line, uh, which were really excellently written by Garth Ennis. That to me is my best uh, version of the Punisher. That's my favorite comic line. It's very adult, uh, very graphic, lots of swearing, lots of violence, lots of sexual content. It's definitely not for kids, but it's an amazing book. So you might be thinking, why am I doing this video now? This, this is from 2005, I've had this a few years. Um, got more time on my hands these days. Uh, so I'm uh, doing some reviews on some of my older stuff that I've had to get out of storage because my man cave still isn't set up yet. Um, and I don't think that there's been many videos on this guy at all. In fact, I, I only know of one other um, uh, that was done a few years ago by Hero Statue Collector Lou. Um, who was our statue collecting friend who's uh, no longer with us unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to dedicate this video to Luke. So as you can tell this is mixed media, so it's an actual fabric uh, t-shirt he's got, fabric uh, combat pants here, black tactical pants uh, with all the nice pockets here. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of mixed media if it's done right, and this, this was done perfectly. Um, he's got uh, 
um, this uh, tactical vest here, which you don't very often see um, on Punisher pieces. Uh, quite often, he's just wearing a t-shirt, which to me didn't make a lot of sense. If, if you're gonna go into battle, you, you, wanna, you wanna be wearing a tactical vest and or body armor. So he's got all this gear on, he's got his tactical vest, he's got his tactical belt and uh, holsters. These are all fabric, but they're all functional. So they have Velcro and they open up and they contain stuff, which is fantastic. So if we open up his pouches here and you can pull out uh, magazines for the guns. So this is a rifle ma uh, magazine and you can actually see the bullets sculpted in there, which is just a beautiful touch, completely unnecessary. Uh, they didn't have to do that, but it's just, it's really appreciated, Sideshow, thank you. Th this was in uh, Sideshow's glory days when they, they just knocked everything out of the park um, and just paid a lot of attention to the little details. Unfortunately, uh, Sideshow's very hit and miss these days. Sometimes they absolutely nail it and sometimes it's a complete dud. Uh, they nailed this one, in my opinion. So every single one of these pouches around his around his belt here, they've all got magazines in them. So the magazines in this big pouch at the side here, they've got the long clips, I think, I guess, for this Uzi type gun here, which, yeah, that looks like it would fit there. Uh, the, the clip does not come out of the gun, no, the magazine does not come out. Uh, so this is just all for show. These don't have any rounds in them, these are spent. So yeah, and the big, the big pouch came with four of those actually, um, and then, one, two, three, four other pouches where he's got the, um, the magazine with the rounds in for the rifle here. And then this is his pistol pouch. Uh, his pistol's in his hand, obviously, so that's empty. But then there's a, a pistol magazine in the pouch on the actual gun holster there, which is empty. There's no rounds sculpted into that. Uh, just incredible. like. Like I said, they, they didn't need to do all that, but it's just it's just a really, really nice touch. The sculpting and painting on the weapons is just fantastic, uh, especially this rifle. It's, um, it's in different like paint tones. So it's got the actual, uh, it's got like a clear resin uh, sculpt on it here. And then all this is kind of like, um, like a shiny black paint. And then it's got kind of the gray uh, gun metal paint here. So it's in two different tones. So he's pissed off, I think that might be a Beretta or something. And then he's got the Uzi and the rifle. And then he's also got these two grenades here, which just clip onto his, um, his shoulder harness, his tactical vest. So this guy's just armed to the teeth. His boots are all sculpted. Um, the laces and everything, they're just sculpted statue. And this is the kind of slimmer version of the Punisher, the more realistic version. Um, He's very muscular, the, the muscularity in his arms is, and the, the, you know, the vascularity in his arms is all very uh, lean and very realistic, like you would expect the Punisher to be. Um, the, I also have the Kami Cat. I did a video of that. I'll post a link at that at the end. The Kami Cat uh, is still my favorite Punisher statue to date, but that's a very different type of Punisher. That's the jacked up, roided up, uh, massive arms, massive chest version of the Punisher, and, and that's fantastic. The sculpt, and that that was not mixed media; that was all sculpt. But I do like this for the fact that it has got the mixed media, like I said, with the pouches that are actually functional and realistic. And he's got all these plastic uh, buckles here. Um, I don't believe they open. No, they don't. They're all just sculpted together, uh, so you can't clip them open. But they look realistic. And then the uh, the logo here, that's the classic old school uh, Punisher skull. So there have been a lot of Punisher quarter scale statues. Uh, there have been a lot of customs. Sideshow have done, to my knowledge, three PFs. This is the original uh, from back in 2005. And they've done two more since then. The one in the middle uh, was, was mixed media. Um, I wasn't very keen on that one because it was the old school, albeit classic, uh, Punisher with the, the white gloves and the white boots and white holsters and straps and stuff. And I just never thought that the Punisher would, would wear that. It, it looks too, it's old school classic comic stuff. But to me, the Punisher should be 
dressed in black. He should be tactical looking, he shouldn't look like a superhero. Uh, so I, I, I never cared for the, for the white gloves and boots and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I, I skipped out on that uh, premium format. But then there was another one just recently um, where he's a bit more jacked up and it's all, it's not mixed media, it's all sculpt. And he's got the kind of baseball bat uh, over his shoulder here. Uh, I really do like that one. Um, probably get that eventually one day uh, to go with this and my comic cat. And Andy Bergholz did a phenomenal job of sculpting his face. Uh, we'll get close up right now. Um, those eyes, uh, just really glossy, they're uh, brown in color. And the skin tones on it, uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, he's kind of olive skinned because uh, Frank Castle uh, is also Frank Castiglione, so he's, a, he's Italian. Uh, so he, he looks Italian. This. He's got this kind of that olive skin, he's got the jet black hair, uh, the slip back. There's a slightly different uh, tone to his lips. Uh, they're a little bit glossy. Uh, the eyes are glossy, and his skin looks kind of porous. And he's because he's like in the middle of a firefight, he's intense. He looks cool and calm about it, but he's kind of got that furrowed brow and he's all like wrinkling up around the forehead. Uh, yeah, the sculpting's just phenomenal. This, like I said, this is when uh, Sideshow had some awesome guys working for them and uh, Andy Burkholz did just did a great job. So I've only just noticed that um, it appears to have what looks like duct tape around uh, the handle of the rifle as well. Uh, just a really, really nice little touch, nice attention to detail. With these magazines, um, it almost seems a shame to have them hidden away in his pouches, so I suppose you could just kind of like, uh, just dot them around the base uh, if you wanted to create some kind of like diorama. So I've just measured this guy uh, from the bottom of the base to the top of his head. He's about 18 and a half to 19 inches tall. At his widest point between his two guns, he's eight inches approximately. And then he's about 10, 10 and a half inches deep here. So the sculpting of his hands and the weapons are, are really well done. Um, if I had one little uh, gripe, one little nitpick, is I think the paint apps could have been a little bit better around his hands. I think there could have been some different tones in his hands. Uh, the fingernails just kind of bleed into the same color of his skin. Uh, so I think that, that could have been a little bit better. And then the only other real nitpick I have is, like I said, the, the rods and the lack of a magnet in his arms. Uh, that just kind of makes me nervous keep um, it's quite hard to fit in and you have to kind of really wiggle them in but i'm scared of breaking the little uh little rod uh so that's that's a minor gripe but when he's just displayed like this he just it, it's fantastic I, I think this is one of sideshow's uh better punisher pieces i prefer it to the other two premium formats like i said but uh my favorite punisher statue to this day is still the comic cat Again, I'll post a, a link to that at the end of the video. So there you have it, guys. Not a lot more to say about it. Uh, just a really well done uh, statue. OG sideshow, the glory days. Um, let me know what you think of it. Uh, comment below. Um, do you have this version? And which is your favorite version? So guys, if you like this video, if you found any kind of enjoyment uh, whatsoever, or if you found it useful in any way, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Uh, just make it turn blue. It really helps the channel out and lets it know and lets YouTube know uh, that the channel has some kind of value. Also, hit the subscribe and uh, the notification bell so that you never miss out on another one of these videos. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers right now, and it's uh, it's slowly happening. But um, I have a, a giveaway happening at uh, 500 subscribers, so check my channel for that uh, video. So if you want a free Steve McQueen action figure, uh, why would you not? It's free. Um, check out that video. And if you haven't checked out the Punisher Max Comics volumes, uh, check them out. Like I said, they're not for kids, but they are just phenomenal books, like easily my favorite version of the Punisher. So with that being said, guys, thanks very much for watching. And to quote our old friend, uh, hero statue collector Lou, Peace!